Hi friends, welcome to Opa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 3 in GitHub playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about how we can create a repository in GitHub account. We will also call it like a remote repository. So let's understand how we can create a repository using the GitHub website. So firstly, what is repository means? So repository is nothing but like a storage location where generally you will keep your whole project code base okay and everybody will come into the repository and work on those files in a collaborative fashion so it's like a parent level folder imagine that way okay so repository is a place where your entire project will live literally okay and if we create this repository in the github website we generally uh, identify it as a remote repository so that is the terminology we use to refer it okay so remote repository or github website repository both are same let's understand how to create that so let me navigate to the browser uh, this is the github browser so when you navigate to github.com website uh, it will ask you to sign in and you have to sign up if you are, don't have the account and then you can sign in so uh, if you don't know how to do that please watch part one in this playlist to understand that better so i have already connected it and when you see it here right so this is my profile and my account name is Mahir Basha okay and when I click this your repositories I can navigate and see all my repositories so right now I don't have any repositories when I click your repositories it is empty so you don't have any repositories here so if I want to create one I can click this new button from here or let me show you from the home screen so when I go to home that's where I land into the dashboard screen and here you see this plus icon click that and select that new repositories option so this option helps you to create the new repository so when I click this new repository selects option it will ask it will give me some fields to fill to create the repository so here it is asking me uh, under my account what is the repository name I have to give and what is the description whether I wanted it as a public repository or a private repository so public repository means which is accessible to anyone you give the URL to anybody they can access it but private repository is something it's private only you can access are the people with whom you shared so only those people can access and when you creating a repository you can also initialize the repository with one file in it so generally we have a habit of using this readme.me file uh, that file think like it's like a what is about that project right it's kind of a description about that project so generally people used to use that file to initialize the repository that means inside the repository that readme.me file will be there uh, and uh, md file sorry and uh, people will be uh, documenting what that project is all about so let me give the repository name maybe like a uh, demo so let me name it like a demo repo okay so demo repository that is the name i am giving it so this repository for demo purpose so that's the description i am giving it and i wanted to make it a private repository and i am initializing this with a readme file where i can write description about this project whatever i am going to use it for so when i hit this create repository button that's where it will create the repository so let me hit this create repository button uh, you see that our repository is ready you can see under my account demo repository you see that log symbol that tells me that it's a private repository and you can see the repository name and right now i am under the code tab you see there is one file right now which is readme.md and right now that file is already open here uh, if i want to edit i can edit it and change the description or content here okay and you see that this repository created and by default it created one branch also here so you you see that branch name is main so generally whenever we create a repository one branch will be created usually the name will be main so what is a branch mean branch is nothing but like a subfolder so imagine like uh, this is the root folder your doc, your repository name is like a root folder okay and then inside that root folder you have a subfolder called main imagine that way 
so usually all the finalized code right whatever we develop the code right uh, the code which is working correctly without any issue usually we will keep it in that main folder our main branch okay so let's assume somebody wants to uh, develop some new future or they wanted to uh, create or alter the existing code in that case what they will do general practice is they have to create one more branch so if i am working on it maybe i will create a branch called mahir okay and in that branch i will take all the code all the working code from the main branch to the mahir branch and then i will do the changes here and i will test it if everything works fine i will push that code back into the main branch i will i will do the pr pull request usually we will call it we will see that in future uh, but have this idea at a theoretical level so that's how it works so main branch usually people keep untouched if anybody wants to do anything they will create one more branch it's like a one more folder and they will take the checkout of the code will happen from main branch to that another branch and there they will do the changes and they will merge it here okay so that's how uh, the general practice uh, okay so imagine that main branch is a, a default branch where the uh, final code is there or the working code is there so when i created a repository so it created this main branch and when i click this you see right now i have only one branch there is no no other branches okay and in that main branch i have this readme.me file so that is the reason i can see it here i can add more, more files here or i can upload files to here but i am not going to do that right now we will continue this repository in our upcoming classes or videos to in, to make it work for some project okay so this readme dot file if you want to edit you can hit this edit button and you can add some changes to it see right now this is what it has and this readme dot md file is generally the markup language so you can write anything here this is this is per demo project right so i can write anything and I, I can commit the changes committing the changes is nothing but like a saving the changes so let's commit the changes so that will save the changes back into the demo.md file so let's go back to our demo repo repository now right now you can see this is per demo project the changes which i did right so this is what repository very easy step you can go to this plus sign select this new repository and just to make sure whether it is listing in my repositories or not i can go to the your repositories you can see right now i have one repository that started listing it here as well okay so that's it in this video i hope you got an idea what is repository means thank you for watching in our next video we will try to create the local repository this is a remote repository created in the github website we will create a local repository in my system using the git which we installed in our previous video so stay tuned thank you for watching have a nice day.